Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad, one of the developers of the Wild West mod, and I'm joined today by two of the other developers who we'll be chatting with during the video, and I'll introduce them once we get started. In this video, we're taking a look at the things you can expect to see while playing the Wild West mod, and we'll be highlighting the big changes from vanilla, and expand a little more on the mechanics of the mod while we play through a short portion of the game ourselves. But first, let's get it installed. <laughs> You can use the link in the description or if you've joined the Tom and Brad gameplay discord you'll find the links there too or you can just go to mod db and do a search for wild west mod once you're there you'll know you're in the right place as you'll see the logo and just up here we can see the download now button give that a click give it a second to do its thing and down on the bottom left here you can see it's downloading the mod I'll also add a link to the GitHub version of the mod, which is, well, we're considering it the experimental version because that gets updates before the main uh, mod DB version does. And if you're familiar with GitHub, you're welcome to use that. You can pull updates as they happen and keep yourself well up to date and benefit from new features as soon as they're available. Once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to click on the arrow at the side there and say show in folder, get rid of the internet. There it is there. And if I open it up, have a look inside these are all of the files and folders that we need so next you'll need to go to your seven days to die mods folder and you can find that with percent update uh, percent hit enter seven days to die and then there is mods now yours might be somewhere else if you've got it somewhere else you probably know already what you're doing with this part and from here we're inside the mods folder i'm just going to go back to the zip folder and i'm going to grab all of these things and just drag them straight over into there. When compressed, it's just under 800 megabytes. Now that also includes the New Frontier map as well. And speaking of the map, if we go inside of the One Wild West mod folder, inside of there, we can go to Worlds, and in there, there is the New Frontier map. Now this is exactly the same for a server. You would just drop the four main folders into the mods folder on your server, and I'll check with your server provider exactly where your mods folder is. And the map may well need to go into the worlds folder on the server as opposed to being just left where it is in the mods folder. Now I'm just demonstrating this in a solo player mode. So if you've installed the mod correctly, you should see that you'll get the Wild West mod welcome screen if you like. And from here to start a new game, it's just the same as always, call it a new game. But then make sure that you find the new frontier folder and give it a name. Change your settings as normal, and then get started when you're ready. Okay, let's jump over to some gameplay with two other members of the dev team, and we'll see what's going on with the mod, and hopefully you'll pick up a few tips too. Oh, I spawned. Do you spawned? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that, that's the official intro. Oh, I spawned. I spawned. I spawned. Oh, Upturned vessel okay all right well here we are in the game are uh, in the new frontier map and this is one of the two main spawn locations so this is actually the west coast and if one of your party members ex uh, spawns on the east coast which is roughly was it 5.6 kilometers something like that if they fall, uh, spawn that far away uh, what they can do is there's some conveniently some glass bottles here um they can just eat the glass basically and they'll get a 50 50 chance of respawning at the other spawn point if they haven't placed a bedroll so that's worth checking out alternatively if one of your um, party members is, has admin privileges they can teleport you um but also uh meeting up with a, a long lost comrade uh, is quite a good little mission into itself so um so there you go so the plan today is just to play through um, at least a good hour's worth of the game to show you what it's all about. And uh, I think we'll uh, get started. And as we're doing the initial grind, I'll introduce the team and tell you a little bit about the mod as well. All right, let's go for it. So should we clear out a bit of the boat? The upturned boat. Yeah, why not? Sneak on him. I see a nurse over there. Ah, too late. That the sneak stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. 
<laughs> Ow. Sorted. Yeah, so the boat's half flooded. Um, because of the water physics in uh, Alpha 20, you know, you, you have to be a little bit careful with uh, with messing with it too much. There's a chance that you might get stuck. It's just, it's just sort of how it is. It's worth being a little bit careful with anything in the water. Um, we have quite a few water-based POIs as well, and uh, we've used a special technique to make the bo boats look like they're floating. Uh, and you can't, that can cause an issue for some players, so uh, be advised not to mess too much underneath the boats. Because it could be bother. Well, I tell you, let me introduce the team now then, while we're, while we're on, just um, scavenging a little bit. So we're joined by Medusa, who is responsible for getting you and your team violently murdered while you enjoy her beautiful POIs. <laughs> Isn't that right, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> I might have added one or two zombies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then we have uh, Aramis, who is the the brains behind the mod. Really, uh, is uh, as well as creating many POIs. Aramis is also responsible for all of the technical stuff involving the perk systems, the quests, the recipes, and and much more, much more indeed. Then there's Oak Raven, who can't join us for the video, unfortunately, but Oak Raven created a huge amount of models and assets for the game, and that really helps us with the immersion. Um, there are new deco items and new weapons models, and including a really nice range of revolvers, knives, and axes, and, and lots of other things that you'll see as we play the game. Now, there are, there are a lot of people really that have contributed, but um, this isn't an acceptance speech, if you like, so I'm not going to list everybody. But they are all credited uh, in the, the mod guide that can be found in the download uh, when you download the mod. So thank you very much to everybody that has contributed. Um, really helped us make something that's a lot of fun, and I hope everyone enjoys it. So should we head to land and uh, get our basic quest out the way? Yep. Thank you. It's a bit chilly. Yeah. yeah. So you can see in the bottom of my screen there, I've got uh, quite a few new icons there. We've got some pancakes. And as a little tip, those pancakes will actually help cure uh, an infection or partially cure an infection. And we also have, uh, I'll just quickly show you here, uh, pressing the wrong buttons, of course. Uh, there we go. We have this wanted feral gunslinger. Uh, mission and I wouldn't recommend starting this mission early in the game because the feral feral gunslinger is pretty tough and you want to hang on to that for a good while. The next one there you can activate straight away if you want the hunter achievement quest and this comes in four stages and once you've completed the first stage which is to kill um, a selection of four basic animals you can then move on to the next stage and kill another four harder animals and so on until you complete the, the whole achievement and you get rewards along the way. So that's a little bit of fun. Uh, something that I quite like to do. I will read that straight away. There we go. You can see that it says, accept this hunter achievement quest to hunt a variety of animals through different stages of progression. You will receive rewards for completing each progression stage and two skills upon full completion. There's a pig over here. Ooh. I'm hoping he doesn't attack me. Oh, oh yes, he's looking at me green. As we step onto the new frontier. Yes, new frontier. Yeah, that's a good point. The map that comes with the mod, uh, I could highly recommend playing on that first. It's set up to really uh, to show off the mod, basically. Um, you can sort of think of it a bit like the Navis game map, if you like. It's completely handcrafted. It, I didn't use Terragon to do that. Um, it is hand drawn. It was actually from a, uh, a random world gen, a vanilla random world gen, using the Wild West POIs only, and then it was customized after utilizing map tools, which I can highly recommend, and uh, free GIMP software. It's 6K, but there's a lot in the 6K, so there's plenty to see and do. Let me drop that down. Do. How would you compare the West Coast to the East Coast spawns? They, well, they're intentionally set up to be very similar. Um, I think the, the West Coast is probably slightly easier. You've got a bit more uh, far, uh, what do you call it, forest area 
and you're a little bit close to the desert and the snow, which is useful for getting resources that you'll need. Um, but they are very similar. I think either one you start at, you'll have a very similar experience. Um, the, the POIs aren't exactly mirrored, but they are. Uh, they should be roughly the same sort of level. Uh, the traders are maybe it's the first trader on the from the west coast is maybe slightly further away, but not that much further. However, there is uh, there's a bit of a challenge on the way to the first trader if you start on the west coast. You, we'll see that in a minute. I forgot about the the route to the trader. <laughs> Can be a little bit perilous. All right, so look at me points. I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is put some points into Wild West experience. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I'll have a look at that. Gives me a gain of twenty percent XP, so we get pick things up quicker. Yeah. Let me pull that up on here as well intellect there we go well with experience this is a new one a lot of this will be very familiar which is probably quite comforting for some people because i know um some overhaul mods can be extremely complicated it because it's familiar it should be that little bit easy for you to find your way around um so well with experience yeah we can see here that in general this skill allows players to hone their skills at a quicker rate as xp is gained faster um and we can see from keen eye the first one i think i'll also get that observe your peers and pick things up quicker than usual and gain 20 percent um extra xp so i will also take that and from there i'm gonna go with my typical formal pete sexy rex cardio oh fit as a horse there you go <laughs> Uh, train yourself and your horse to use less stamina while galloping, cycling, or sprinting. So, yes, cycling, there are push bikes. After you complete the first wave of uh, T1 missions, you'll get rewarded with a push bike. After you complete the second uh, tier of um, quests, you'll get your first horse, and it'll be a tier one horse. It's pretty good, but it is, um, it is it's faster than the bike. It's heavily weighted into the flare stamina and yeah so as you level up your stamina the effectively the horse's stamina levels up as well because it, it is tied basically to your stamina so if you're tired the horse is tired um if you're over encumbered the horse is going to perform less well basically and a very simple hint on that if you're if you're wearing your armor just drop it into inventory and that will reduce the burden on the horse the mod's been out about two, it's just over two weeks now, I think. And um, this, I think it, we're up to about 600 downloads, which is quite impressive. And uh, it, things are going really well. And obviously, if anybody finds any bugs or has any uh, requests, or if you like, um, then just join the Discord and let us know all about it. Um, we, they, we have achieved some goals. Uh, there's, been, there's been a lot gone on in a short amount of time. Uh, initially, we set out to have a themed map um, and to have appropriate weapons for the time period. And uh, we've ended up with uh, Gatling guns, stag spears, Winchester rifles, pistol, uh, revolvers, knives, tomahawks. Transportation was a big thing. I think any Wild West game needs the um, a horse. So we've eventually got one of those, and that was made by uh, Telric. Very kindly allowed us to use it in this mod. And uh, we also have the balloons supplied by Oak Raven, which are really good fun for later game. And you can travel quite fast, uh, quite far um, with those balloons on. They are, they are a good laugh in uh, uh, multiplayer situations. And then we also have the steam horse. So that's a steam powered four wheeled vehicle, um, which is uh, also very good fun and something that uh, I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate. Uh, we also wanted. The uh, POIs obviously to be themed nicely around the Wild West. And where did we get to with the, the count so far? I don't remember exactly what it was. Ooh, I'd say 130-ish. 130, so that's 130 roughly Wild West themed POIs. And some of them are um, Fun Pimps POIs that have been modified to uh, to work a little bit better with uh, Wild West. But a lot of them have been crafted by um, Medusa and Aramis and uh, Z-Bark and uh, Chaz and um, Stallion's Den's even got one in. They, yeah, there's basically, there's quite, there's quite a lot to see 
there's plenty going on. We do have big cities on this map. There isn't just the small little towns. There's quite a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, we also wanted to have some different uh, um, models, like uh, the uh, the Zeds. There are a lot of the vanilla Zeds still in the game, um, but we've changed where possible to to make them look a little bit more Wild Westy. But there are roughly seven new models in the game, including the Gunslinger and. Don't give it away. Don't give it all away. Cut, cut. There are also roughly seven new models in the game, which I'm not going to give away. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Vegeta. Um, <laughs> that you'll experience for yourselves firsthand as you play the game. And uh, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy those. Wandering hordes are increased in the game, so you will get visits now and then from uh, a wandering horde as you play. But be prepared, because they can come in pretty hefty numbers. Also, a similar sort of thing to look out for, at least anyway, is the weather system. So the weather has been boosted slightly to be at that little bit more extreme. And I know the fog can be an annoyance to some people, but think of it as a wandering horde. You don't know when it's going to come and it's just going to add that little bit more uh, of a challenge to the game. Um, it is supposed to be fun. Uh, you do get snow occasionally in the forest, which is absolutely beautiful too. And the temperatures can be so extreme that you'll take a health hit if you're not prepared for the biome that you're in. So there are quite a few more mods and recipes added also. There's um, several mods for weapons and armor. There are multiple food recipes, which are new, and also multiple crafting recipes to enhance the biome exploration. Yeah, you might need to visit the snow biome to pick up a particular um, item that you'll need for... Uh, clothing or for a weapon and also the wasteland at some point you'll need to visit the wasteland which is good fun okay so we're at the first pui splat oh he's got me damn ah. good job juicy stams I'm out of arrows. Ah! <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh no! <laughs> and this is a theme for some of the POIs. You're, you're going to get your general spawns in the majority, but where they're very specific, like this logging one, you're going to get your loggers, and, mm -hmm. and some you're going to get your mummers, and you'll be able to see that and watch out for that. Oh, he's not happy. He's not. There he goes. Yeah, he's... Oh, oh, no, he killed me. Oh, sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Red's dead. Red's dead. No, it's my first death. Doesn't count. Well, what's this queen bee I chopped from a tree? Oh, queen bee, you say? I wonder what that does. Use the queen bee with right mouse click on the beehive to populate it and produce honey. Oh, nice. and get honey then. Oh. <laughs> Is that the three of us acting surprised there? <laughs> <laughs> even, though, even though we all knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make beehives. Good heavens. <laughs> Sounds like an oak raven thing to me. We're going to come across a lot of oak raven stuff. Lots and lots of nice oak raven things. Both traders on either side of the map are, uh, are the same. So he's a traveling trader. So he's just unloaded his workbench and he's very kindly letting us use it. And also this really nice um, cooking stove from uh, Oak Raven. We can't use them after hours, um, but also we're not protected from anything around us while using it. But the bonus is you've got a workbench and a cooking area to use early on. If you agree to help me, watch this I've one. The oh, is a chat room. Yeah, yeah, well, I say yeah, land office get from Chaz916 Gaming. Okay, well, let me get a different one. I'll get uh, Business 6. I'll grab Business 6. If you're lucky, Oh, let's have a quick look at uh, one of the new characters. Look at this. Very suitably drunk looking. Well, he's hat. What's he got in his hand? He's got a bottle there as well. Troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Edgar the time drunk <laughs> yeah he wasted <laughs> 25 infected settlers 
kill any zombie one out of 25. Interesting. There are multiple stages which continuously loop. Cure 25, or in other words, kill 25 for a thousand liberty, liberty coins, 50 for 5,000 XP, 75 for 3,000 liberty coins, and then 100 for 10,000 XP. And then 250 for a skill point, which is quite nice. And once you've done that, it actually starts again. Um, so this is a rolling thing, rolling bonuses as you're playing along. Without completing the initial um, entry survival stages of you making your bed and the start not going to receive it. Yeah. So uh, okay. skipping, like it or not, please don't skip. So all of the vehicles have been replaced with the, the wagons. And if you've got a wrench, you can wrench them and you can also loot them. Not Possibly not all the POI ones, uh, but the ones that were randomly spawned in the world, uh, you can loot at least the majority of those. Yeah, and don't be put off if they make a metallic noise, because if you look at them, there is metal on them. Yeah. The, uh, the metal yes. over... Iron trims. Metal canopy thing and the iron trims. Yeah. There we are. Digital tape. Scrap those other bits. Was it a conscious decision to place the spawn points in the pine forest? Yes, yes, and well, I thought it was probably beneficial for the player to start in a slightly more relaxed biome mm. um, while they find their feet. Um, but it pretty quickly turns to a uh, desert. Oh, I see. Yeah, there should be enough T1 missions in uh, the forest biome before it starts sending you to the next trader who will be in uh, the desert. And look at this, another one of uh, Oak Raven's pieces of work. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, that's really nice. Was it coming? Yep. Was it? Are we good to go? Mm hmm. Let's go for it. I'm hungry. Yeah. I appreciate the uh, 60 slot inventory. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're still going to get encumbered, but at least. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> We've also got the lockable option where you can log as many as slots as you want to. Thank you to Kane for both of those features. Yeah, thanks, Kane. What this then is the land office and assay office. Farewell. Oh, there's a one of the mo bows here. <laughs> Nice hat he's sporting. We've got land grants, survey maps, patterns. So it's very thematic POI. Oh, um, there's a zombie over there. Oh. Okay, we're we done. Everything got here. We got everything. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, next one over here. Onwards. So that was a little POI from Chaz. See a few of those dotted around the map. You, it's got quite a few different ones. I'm keeping hold of the uh, pine cone jam. As you mentioned, it's it's the only way I've got for infection at the moment. Yeah, I've kept, I don't want to eat mine yet. That's why I've, I mean I've still got that, but I don't want to use it up at the moment right. just in case. Testosterone extract. Oh, have you got some? But it's it has a different icon to what we're uh, <laughs> common. Does it? <laughs> Indeed. Can you drop it in the crib? We'll have a quick look. Object in your left side one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Compound used to create steroids that is harvested from bears. <laughs> a poor bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might craft myself a little hat just to uh, get in the mood. Hey, that's an idea. I'll, uh, okay. Yeah, join you on that. I forgot about those hats. They do wake up early in these parts, yes. 4.05, I believe. Ah, right. There yeah, we there we are. 
That's nice. Well, that's, well, that's nice if you play in a long day cycle, you can still get in a couple of hours earlier. Yeah, bad a rip. Oh, nice. Another one of those. I'll quickly grab a job. Bark. Um, blacksmiths at all in the list. There is. Let's do that one. It's uh, very well balanced. This is a very decent one. It's got a, a little bit of everything. Perfect for the low game stage. Super. Yeah, these um gore bodies mm. can't always quite make it out as being a, a zombie or gore. yeah. You know, get that light in the right angle. I thought I heard a hissing sound then. I do yeah, there. there. <laughs> Coming for you. Javelin on this one. Oh, we got some lovely. Done. I'm just going to share this one with you because mm -hmm. it's quest, but it's a, a nice rhubarb recipe. Okay. Which was a an authentic Wild West kind of soupy stew. All right. Reading this recipe will teach you how to craft this item. Boo boo recipe, look at that. It's more murky water and some Wild West sarsaparilla. Oh, what does that do? It says remedial and energizing. It helps you pick up the pace, run 50% faster. Well, that is handy. Yeah. And especially when I uh, get encumbered with yeah. art and stuff like that too. That'd be interesting to see if it works when you're on the horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Mm. Uh, At least the stamina element. Yeah, sure. Really could do with more arrows. Well, there's some stone out here if you need your Yeah, weight. I'll grab a bit of that. Feather-wise, it's been a bit sluggish, yeah. Hmm. Oh, hell. Oh, oh he's down. Ow. Oh, Ow. No, God, let me out. I should have got the gun. Where's the gun? Oh, I haven't got any ammo from the darn gun yet. <laughs> oh, oh <God>. dear. <laughs> just one, just one. It's still painful, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's try that one and uh, reload. Yeah, that's loaded. That's better. <laughs> You've got to have an unloaded weapon that you pull out in an emergency. <laughs> Great. Nice POI. I like that. Yeah, Z-Bot makes some great POIs. Yeah. That's some serious running juice, mind. I'm flying along. I need a speedo to see how fast I'm going. I am at Aramis's one already. That sarsaparilla is rocket juice. Did you guys get over there so fast? It's sarsaparilla. <laughs> oh, you took it, did you? Yeah, I had to try it out. It's really good. You only get two minutes, but oh, does it shift? Yeah. Just keep an eye out for wandering hordes because they, they average out roughly one a day, I think, don't they? Is it about one a day? One a day, and it goes in a 50 day loop cycle. And I think the minimum is 14 and the max is 21, 23. But then all the animal ones in between have been slightly enhanced as well. So, mm, so you could yeah. get wolves or, or whatever. You could get, you could get a, a zombie bear and a pack of dogs and it'd be mm -hmm. a bit more than what you're used to. So, yeah. Yeah. I can see the fogs come in. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Whoever thought of adding these <laughs> dynamics? What a yeah. difference. 
Well, I mean, this is quite light fog, really. <laughs> but you will always remember the first time you can't see the end of your spear because the fog is so dense, but then suddenly a zombie appears right in front of your face. I think that's an experience that everyone will remember. Yeah, my apologies to anybody who doesn't like the fog. It doesn't last that long. Well, I really enjoy this game dynamic. It's, mm. um, I mean, you've got a whole day cycle and it's nice to see a few weather patterns even in that. Well, it makes it more challenging, which I think is good. Oh, I nearly, yeah. <laughs> I nearly took a spike to the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, this is a fine supplies one. Trees and uh, everything. Oh. Yeah, watch those spikes. Oh, that nearly killed me. Oh, oh is it that bad? Oh dear. Yeah, that nearly killed me. I was low health. Mm. Ooh, Sorry about that. that. I don't know who did I this for you. I was had to keep the foxes off it. Or... <laughs> oh, snake. Yeah, snake. Ow. snake. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, that was the thing they did, wasn't it? They would hang the food in the trees to, to uh, uh, away from the bears. Yeah. Makes sense. Should we leave it there and uh, save any surprises for players to find themselves? I think we showed a lot, actually, yeah. Yeah. I think we I could, like uh, if anybody's interested, we could come back and do a little bit more of this. Um. But I think really the best thing people could do is just to get into it and experience it for themselves and see what's going on. Uh, something to stress is that it is worth using the new Frontier map because it is set up to show off really all of the um, features of the mod. And if you use a an existing random world gen map, uh, it's, it'll not be the same experience. You'll have the wrong types of PYs and what have you. Uh, I am going to work on doing some other maps. Um, I will try some Terragon versions, an 8 and a 10 at least, um, for those that like a larger map, but it won't have the custom features that I've added in this one, but it still might be just what other players are looking for, um, if they've exhausted this one, I guess. Uh, well, Medusa and Aramis, thank you very much for, uh, thank you, Brad. for being here. Thank you for hosting. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for nearly killing me with your spikes in your POI. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right, thanks everybody <laughs> for watching. We'll see you again later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.